Welcome to Prodigy Sport Advantage Stations. PSA Podcast is an unconventional podcast that challenges the audience to think outside the box using real life experiences, clever narratives, original quotes, and the creative use of satire in order to break the audience free from negative paradigms and push them towards their own personal growth. This is by no means a method to condemn or bash the audience, but instead encourage and showcase a different perspective that might not have been seen before. PSA is designed to showcase to the listeners that the power of the mind is not a joke, and if a person can learn to control their mind and their thoughts, they will ultimately control their life. This podcast serves as a means of entertainment and educational purposes only, and not a replacement for therapy or any other type of professional help that the audience may desire. What's up, everybody? I got a gang with me today. We're going to get to that in a minute. This is track eight. This is, let's talk about sex <laughs> again. <laughs> round two. All right. For sure, round two. Um, it, uh, the meme reads, men and women look at sex totally different. And then it asks, this is the first meme that asks a question, do you agree or disagree? So this time y'all get to answer me and ask in the chat like whether or not you agree with that. Now, inspiration comes from Twitter. There's a lot of stuff I've seen on Twitter about they always talk about sex. First of all, Twitter talk about the same three things. Talk after about dark. After, Twitter after dark. They talk about the same three things. And I'm, I'm happy to follow y'all that's always uploading porn. I'm trying to be a man of God, and all I see is people thrashing on my timeline. So I'm gonna have to follow some of y'all. If you see this, you know exactly what I'm talking I'm about. I deactivated Twitter. Okay, good for you. The right. second part. Obviously, my second inspiration comes from the first part. Shout out to Bashley Baby and shout out to Gia. Y'all are the reason we're doing a part two. If y'all see this, I love us for real. Um, y'all the reason we're here. All right? And then, obviously, last week's episode. So when we talk about sex, we ended up last week talking about closure. You know, we said in the episode that closure is a scam. you seeking closure, you're wasting your time. As my mama said, and as I said last week, you got the closure when they stop talking to you. All right. So before we get into this jam pack episode, I want to introduce my guest. So we're gonna start right and go writer. So, what's your name? Where are you from? Ron. Straight out of Houston, Texas. Here. Then you got Jet from Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. Devonte Johnson, straight out of Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, Ron has been here before. Jen has been here before. But Devaja is new. All right. So, when you think about the word sex, what comes to mind? Sluts. Okay. You come to mind sex? A whole bunch of nasty shit. Like, so sweaty, sweaty, <laughs> lust. <laughs> I'm a married man, so. I mean, I got yeah, I got a girl yeah. too, so I mean, you know what I'm saying. She knows. So. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, good for you. Okay, so just yes or no? Do you feel that men and women think about sex different? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Okay. Mm, depends on how you put it, though. Not really. Not as really. I as I've grown, I used to think that way, but now I know. It's men who think the way some women think about sex. It's women who think the way some men think about sex. Some women like sex just like another man would. Some men don't like sex just like another woman would. It's kind of all the same. Okay. Oh, yeah. John Legend. Yeah. He think, said John Legend. I don't think they think the same about it, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so everybody look at the camera So when we ask this next one. Okay. Do you think men or uh, who do you think wants sex more, men or women? Men. Women. Men. Women, men. Like I said, both. No, women, women, women like the meat. It, it, like when it comes to women, it's about like you got, you got some girls that got morals. Yeah. You got, then you got some that just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Do you think it's because, and we might be getting a little deep too early. Do you think maybe it's because of like a, a issue? Maybe or you feel like they? Nah, do they just like penis. What are you talking about? You talking about women? Yeah. It's because they got emotional attachment to it. Yeah, usually. yeah. Women, women get emotionally attached real quick, but, easy. But they don't. They get they get bashful. I ain't gonna lie. If they ain't got no morals. Then you get back. You then get women, bashful. you get bashful. You get bashful. You too. Oh, most definitely. We bash oh. them all the time. Okay. I 
personally think that women do want sex more. I just think that it's just not classy for women to outwardly say it. That's that's my opinion. why. Why? Yeah, why? I mean, because most times women, that's what they be talking about. Like they, you know, they just try to, you know, I'm a lady, you know. Oh, they like you. We set up a standard to where it's not okay for a woman to just outwardly. That's what exactly. Sexually. You know, yeah. explicit like a man is. Mm-hmm. So wait, you talking about back then or now? Because now it's not like that. You oh, say, now, now well, you can say what you want. Now, man. now the like yeah, now is you have people out there who still think that way, but it's like then. Back in the old days, like you couldn't, the women couldn't say nothing at all about mm-hmm. sex. They just had well, their dresses nice. to their ankles. And, and it's so crazy, bro. When when you hear your parents and I'm like, ah, ladies wasn't like that. Y'all say y'all be seeing the little videos that that service up from the nineties and all that. Boy, they was nasty, freaky. They was real, they had freak meets. real freak, bro. In Chicago, bro, the black parties. <laughs> but think about it. My mama being in the city and all that, and her being young, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm swimming around in my daddy ball sack, bro. And I'm like, but is that is that, my is that probably, private or public though? That was public. My mom probably was wild. You know what I'm saying? So when they say that, think about you got to think about yourself when when, when you hear old person, oh, our women. Are, Nah, that generation just got it in words. Y'all was, y'all was turned up back then. Like, they just hid it. Yeah, y'all hid it. Okay. Went ahead and defined sex for everybody. So the process of reproduction or the process of pleasure. And it says, I went ahead and defined different. You know, your favorite word that y'all aren't. It says, not the same as another, each <laughs> other, unlike in nature, form, or quality. Okay. <laughs> so I went ahead and went to this article and I found it says, how do men and women... <laughs> how do men and women differ in how they view sex? Okay, it says. Make sure you keep that. It says we believe that sex is beautiful, a God-given desire that can bring a husband and wife together in oneness. We also believe sex is, th- is a thermometer that measures the depth of the re- of a relationship. I it's, agree with that. It says its presence or absence often indicates the level of commitment and intimacy in other areas of a relationship or a marriage. It says for sex to be truly satisfying to both partners. Each has to risk being totally open and vulnerable to each other. Each person in the marriage or relationship should feel needed, wanted, accepted, and loved sacrificially. And one of the keys to building this type of relationship is understanding the general difference between men and women and how they view sex. The difference causes certain expectations of the part of men and women to often lead to misunderstanding, frustration, and disappointment. So let's, let's, let's talk about that. So with that, I look at it like this. Men and women, obviously, you know, in any relationship and understanding, in reality, everyone's not going to wait to marriage. That's just how it goes. It is what it is. Naturally, no, no. You know, some people do, and if you do, big ups to you. But a lot of people didn't. Now, especially the people who, like, did, who didn't wait, and then they like, oh, okay, from where I'm at now, they're like, okay, I'm going to save myself until I get married. Well, that'd be all up front, bro. Some people do. No, because I, I, I know. Yeah, you got, you got some people that ask you follow up through it, bro. And you got something that you I'm a, I'm a witness to it though. My my number, they they him and his wife just got married. That, they were celibate for like some years, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I, I believe it. But I, it's, I believe but it's, it. It's you know t- what I'm saying? But like sometimes shit. people just be, be lying. People just be lying. Nah, nah, people, they be lying because they they in the stage. I feel like when you say that, you are, you got like an undercover freak in you. When you be sitting up lying and telling people that you gonna wait for marriage, you a nasty. You nasty. Oh. Them. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why they're waiting. Uh-huh, because I want to unleash the beast later. They yeah. got they got slid it out. They, 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 they listen to Diamond and this ain't gonna do it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I keep looking at the camera like that. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just I'm just speaking oh, fact. This is okay. from what a lot of men gonna say. No, a lot of men gonna think. You know what I'm saying? I think it's sometimes sometimes I think it's important. Just depending on who the person is, if they <laughs> I feel like with that, I feel again. I don't blame nobody that does it, but if you don't lie and say it, like, "Oh, I'm waiting," just yeah. because I think it was on what show was that? It was on Flavor Love, and Boots said she was waiting, but she really wasn't waiting. She just was like, "You're not finna hit me just to say you did it." And but he was in a house full of shorties. Yeah. So oh, no, she, I, I she, was, she was trying to be different as. Most of y'all are actually not. I never encountered somebody who would, who lied about that. Most people that I've ran into now, I'm not with them 24-7. But the Which vibe I get from them is like, I don't see them lying about that. But being celibate is a choice, though. People mm-hmm. make their choice like mid-life. Wait, so we, are we talking about virgins or celibacy? Either or. Because oh, okay. you can be celibate. Some people be low-key with their stuff, though. Yeah. So, so, yeah, you would never, you would think that person's doing this and that. 
think they're the angels of the world get in that room and they be a and I want, in the I want, night. I want people to realize that can be a man or a woman. Facts. Yeah, it, yeah. It's not just yeah, it's not tied just. to, I know most of the time you hear females saying she's celibate, right, right. but there are men who take sex just as seriously and would also be celibate as well. So, most definitely. so why do we, so why do we bash men more? For that than women because of society society yeah. feels like the man should be out here thrashing any the and culture everybody. is set up to where the man is very outward about sex and the women is very in okay. we, we we are taking the turn as you can see to where it's either now both basically both parties are coming out and saying yeah i like sex the women saying i like sex and the men you know constantly they always gonna say that they like right they like well, people sex. use the term i, I hope use the term weird, weird nowadays so do you think Absolutely. like at, like now at like at this very point in society mm -hmm. if you if you hear a, a male that's either a virgin or celibate would you be like not maybe not you but like overall like yeah it, it, it's kind of weird honestly honestly no I think back in the day, yeah, like back in the day, you used to get clowned for saying you were a virgin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I you get praised for it. Kind now, of now it's like bro, that's so crazy, bro. When I was like six, seven grade, bro, niggas be like, "Well, you need some coochie. Your yeah. boy, boy squeaky as hell." Yeah. Like ninth yeah. grade, ninth <laughs> grade, they said, "Yeah, oh, oh God!" Like, but you know what? And it's okay. funny, and this ain't funny. I bro. remember my mama. She said. Cause people was in fifth grade bragging about how they had lost their virginity yeah. in the back of the bus, and I remember I told my mama that she said that is getting abused. They not having sex yeah. because that's not no, it's not known for a ten year old to be having sex. Cause you in fifth grade, you ten eleven years old. That's not it's, okay. It's not. I'm a low key. Doesn't even drop yet. Yeah, oh, really? like ninth grade. Yeah. I remember yeah, you people you telling me like I need to be, I need yeah. to be. Yeah. Shoot, yeah, let me go. <laughs> 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 it's a all this for some but yeah, like not to take it like off schedule, but like even if you think about how the LBGTQ community back in the day, if you came out and said you was gay, it was a big ordeal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, like the way the society is switching, like you it's say you're gay, it's, it's, like, no, it's normalized. Okay, it's so it's, it's like it's, it's kind of getting to the point where like if people want to come out and say that they're virgins, I know me for sure. I ain't gonna care. Yeah, about like okay, that's what they're not judging. That's cool. But you gotta think most people not that passive, bro. They don't. They they gonna always have a. Everybody has an opinion about stuff. But like you, you like, all right, bro. Like yeah, that's just it's your life, not mine. Yeah, I think that in a sense, I think I think what I hear where you're going, and most people you're gonna meet. If you cool like this group of people, yeah, we're not gonna be tripping if you're a virgin. But there are still people out there who be like, yeah, you know, I'm still a virgin. And then they try to pressure you into into making that move. Yeah, it was an experience, though. Yeah. Right. It's a good experience. Yeah, one experience. Thing, if you my boy, I know you're a virgin, bro. I never press you to, yeah. to do nothing that you But when you first get that first piece, boy, I want to hear about it. I want to hear about it. Look at my boy. Yeah, you going to be turned up for the sure. Big blue button. <laughs> 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 All right. It says that the chart, which we about to go over in a second, it says the chart follows a general guide to the difference between men and women in this area. So obviously this chart is not an absolute comparison. It said it's a, it compares the general tendencies and differences between men and women and how they view sex. So it says the difference in sexuality. So for men, it says for stimulation, they go off sight, smell, body center, and um, as far as needs, they go off of respect, admiration, and physically needed and not to be put down. So, I agree with that. As a man, I do believe men go off sight and smell. Have you ever encountered a girl that didn't smell well? You don't, you can't smell. Well, I can, for those that don't know, my nose only works at 25% capacity. Um, really? Yes. <laughs> now, this isn't diagnosed, but it, it has to be the case because I can't smell. Like, you'd be like, you smell these, man? I'd be like... This is before COVID. You only smell lies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking a question. Speaking of lies, <laughs> why my Trey said whoever took my stuff, which we'll talk about that in another episode. He said, he said, wish him ten years bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <wait. laughs> huh? <laughs> he wiggle his nose. <laughs> <laughs> that's that well, that's that coat. <laughs> but I agree, um, Damn. it says body center. Damn. Dudes do look at, you know, and not saying girls yeah, don't eat, but the body, obviously. You know, they got songs about it. You know, people getting their bodies done. You know, I feel like society is trying to look look like this. It was a, it was a book. It was about a conspiracy theory. And it was saying that 
by 16, it came out many years ago, people was going to try to uh, look like it was part of the perfect society. And people was going to try to all look like one person. And we seeing that now. Who is that one person right now, though? Girls who with the, the slim waist. It's just your opinion. Male and female, who is that one person that they trying to look like? What's old girl off of Rod, who framed Roger Rabbit? Jessica oh, Rabbit. About, uh, Jessica Rabbit for the girls. <laughs> and then the dudes. Rabbit. In the red jet? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Dudes are trying to look like the, all the rappers, you know, they all dress in the kind of the same. I don't, too many dudes don't get surgery if they do not tell nobody. But, you know, like That's white right. men get surgery and are open about it, but black men aren't. I didn't know that. They do, but white men do be. White men, no, no. They're, they're, they always they have, though. Yeah. They always have gotten surgery. Black men, if they get it, they lie about it. Or they don't talk about it. Like, if you in Hollywood, like getting Botox. So what, 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 what surgery is a yeah, what's there? What's there? What's there? What's out of you? I see um, there's a comedian who got like his stomach like shaped up. A one from uh, <laughs> he got, got a, surgery. He had got a uh, he got lipo. But, but yeah, I was gonna say well, well if, you, if you could do it, yeah. <laughs> you can get abs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, he's he a rapper. He's but no, I mean, but that, that makes that makes. I mean, but people That's do why. that. People do that because insecurity of it. But it is insecure that you're trying to fix, bro. So, I don't care, bro. You a dude, bro. As that, bro, you shouldn't give a fuck what somebody got to say about your body. Uh, look at me. Maybe it's yeah, oh, I, I, let's, let's, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay. Okay. I, 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 mean, I don't give a damn. I will smoke. Okay, okay. I will no, so okay. Cool. See, look, me, I always been little, skinny as hell. Uh-huh. And that's how I got funny. You know what I'm saying? I used to be, oh damn, I used to take that shit. I got real fine and started smoking them niggas, bro. I was smoking the ass. I'm, I'm but she but she got to think though. I'm little we, as hell, that's all I got. I'm small. You saying we go off like sight and smell, right? Yeah. Then women do the. I think that's we're gonna get to of, women in a minute. Ooh, they that's, got that's, nerves too. That's a part of it though. But they, you want to look, you want to look good for yourself, and then you want you feel attracted to other people too. But continue. I'm sorry, but I mean, if we're going off a stereotype, you do see the big dude who looked terrible, and then the, he got the the baddie wife, and then you sometimes see the other way around. But if you go off stereotype, you will see the big nasty dude or a bigger dude. Yeah, now with that, besides, if you feel like you overweight, you know what I'm saying you. You wanna, you know what I'm saying, change? I don't have, yeah, that's no problem, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you say, best, you save your own life, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you better yourself at that, but I'm saying, like, hard. If you not big like that, you know what I'm saying, 200, 200 plus and all that. You gonna get some Botox? <laughs> <laughs> nah, see, cause you get some Botox, you're gonna be smizing. You're gonna be, gotta have something for the skinny niggas. <laughs> be over there smizing. You're gonna add some muscles with it. <laughs> You gonna have a little form and, and, a, and a big chest. Like, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Look cool. at because what if they did fat transfers like that? Like for dudes, they was like, oh, I'm gonna take the fat they out do. my back. They and do. put it in my that arms. Comedian uh, Rip Michaels. They he do. got his whole stomach reduced off of surgery. But I'm saying, but put it in your arms to like. I like think he got it put on. They do do fake abs. That's real. That's they a real thing. But what if they? What if they, they, they got? Why? They, they might put it in the cam muscle. What? What? We got? We got a doctor for that. Oh, they yeah, they got fake abs. I got a doctor in Miami for the booty, huh? I mean, what a, you can go get some yeah, fake abs. But you go get fake abs. Uh -huh. You can go get that shit. Put that shit in the chest. A doctor in Memphis. A doctor in Memphis. A doctor in Utah. We got a, you can go get fake abs. That's a real thing. Are you for real? Yes. Damn, yeah, these niggas be out here like that bad. Bro, if you can get hair implants, you get it. Yeah. Now, that one, I don't blame people for doing. Yeah, I don't blame you for getting a hair implant. I ain't gonna lie. If, really? If you shave those, you look right. Like, to me, to me, Deion Sanders, this shit don't look right, bro. That's because he been bald in most of his life. That shit look yeah. weak as hell. He went from a fade oh. to a bald to a fade. Surgery. So hold on. Surgery. Veneers. That's a surgery. And that's veneers yeah, not yeah. even good, bro. I learned that's not even good for you. But you see what they have under your teeth? You like a little reptile. Yeah, they look ugly. A doctor said that shit's not even good for your teeth. It's not. That's no. why you putting you basically putting cap on your real teeth. And then you say no cap. <laughs> All right, so when, then we got sexual response. It says dudes are quick excitement. It says they in, oh, yeah. okay. initiate usually, and it says that they are difficult to distract. So with initiate usually, I mean obviously we know that's true. And then quick excitement. Have y'all seen that thing on the shade room? I I don't I don't know about that one though. Quick excitement. What? No, 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 no. We, nobody's quick. But yeah, but also, I want to make this clear because I saw someone in the shade room. It was saying things that made me to tell their ladies or something like that. One of them was just because I have a boner, don't mean I'm excited. Ladies, you need to understand that if a nigga, walk, especially if a nigga first wake up, if a nigga first wake up, call he, wood. he got all morning wood. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the nigga got a pee, or uh, it, just because he get a 
a boner all the time, don't mean now. 85, 90%, yeah. But there is that 10%. You need 75. 75. There is that extra 25 to where don't feel so threatened. Man, I'm not trying to hunt you down. I have to go to the bathroom. It's it's I'm all tired. different. Yeah, I'm tired. And I'm sure especially for married people, right? But that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying for the people that's married, because right, they're not right. married. We not married, right. but for the people that's married. But, yes. but I'm saying, but it's okay, so what about when you lay in bed and they that too. Well, no, nah, look. And you be like, it's, it's like, it's, it's, is he laying there like that? That's, that's or here's another like, thing. That don't mean we can always control it. If you walking around the house I, ass naked, I'm, I'm John, looking at you and you're taking a call on me. Junior all. got a mind of his own, bro. I cannot control it. I can't, stop, I I can't, can't stop, stop that. The wind blows. You can sit on the couch like this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> No, you can sit on the couch like this. I got you. Get out the shower. That was it. If you walk and you got the jeans that's just yeah. tight and the ass is sitting just right, you like, damn. Yes. And, it, it, and it's happened. crazy, bro. It's like when I got my girl and we like actually started to start like being and Ashley together. And at, at first, I used to like sleep on my back a lot. You know what I'm saying? And then she's like, why you do that? And I'm like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when a female get comfortable, y'all live together, that means she just walking around yeah. in all types of ways. Yeah, if, you, if you're a real nigga and you really attracted to your girl, it don't matter what she look like. Hell imagine you, you open your eyes. Get, uh, imagine you wake up in the morning, open your eyes, and you see a thong and booty. And she know that. Just walk around. She just, just got out the just shower. Just flowing throughout the room. Just got out the shower. Still got the wave cap on, but just got out the shower. I'll be tough, bro. Just all that shit be so sexy. Still got queen that trainer. What my nigga said to you? You ain't queen trainer, bro. <laughs> my sweet baby. I just had to, I had to tell you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I like you. I, I like you girl on their worst day. Facts. I gotta yes. see. I gotta see. You that shit yes. so sexy. If you still look good on your worst day, that shit. That's why I'm hard. The bonding and all. That shit that is so sexy. Because then if you sexy. actually sexy. dress up, sexy. you gotta look better than that. Facts. Well, what, that means that's all, all the way that goes up. But yeah. that's what. But that's how I feel about like and some people do make like that's how I feel about making something. I need to see you without it. Yeah. yeah. Because if you look like that with it, what you look like without it? Because you, you might look like if you look like that without it. We did. Oh, girl, we going. That's just that's all all again. Sometimes they put on makeup, be looking like they going There's to clown school. People. Yeah. yeah, we got a cake face. <laughs> just a shameless <laughs> plug. Shameless <laughs> plug. And females, if y'all looking for a makeup artist, Shell Doc Glams on Instagram. You know what I'm talking about? Makeup artist, professional. Check out. Well, my girl, that's what you mean that. She gonna get beat down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we going to the women part. The same website talking about stimulation. They said women like touch. It says they like attitudes, actions, and words, and they like the person being centered around them. I can see all of that. Women do like touch. Mm-hmm. They yeah. do like attitudes, you know, and not necessarily sexual touch, y'all, for the freaks out there. Relax. Yeah. Rub me back. Rub back. You know, I got a theory about that. What's your theory? About I touch? think it's, I, but no, like everything he just described to our women, notice with us is body and what we see. Mm-hmm. With women is what they feel. Mm-hmm. And I'm just keep you straight physically. Is you think because we don't have breast and butt, they ain't got nothing to look at. Well, no, they always look at, women are always looking at dudes' ass. First of all, I was going to say girls do like They always do that. Like, yeah. they always do that. Like, they, it's, shot down like that. as much as we don't like it, they be doing it, of course we don't like it. We like, chill out. Yeah, but stop. at the same time, that's just like us. Looking at them, they look at you. Look at their t- chest. They look at all. They but that's the thing too. And like men and people feel the realize women have purposes too. Like some girls like skinny dudes. Some girls like big dudes. Some girls like you know to have some girls like bellies and tall people or short people. So you know they may like a scammer. They may like somebody to go to work every day. They may Shut like up. dudes with hair. <laughs> they may like fades. They may like bald heads. They may like beards. They may like no facial hair. I, like I mean so. So, you know, it's just, it, it just depends, you know, they had a, they preference soon, we'd be thinking like, I feel like sometimes we just kind of like, be like, they all they, I don't know, I don't know, sometimes I feel like women, you women, you all appreciate it, in case you didn't know. Yeah, facts. I tell my girl all the time, bro. She be like, that's she, reassuring, she, though. She be in the house like, And oh. that's part of what, what they need. I need so, let me see. Let's, let's talk about what they need. So, the needs are understanding, 
Well, like uh, candy I and them. From you. I try so very hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Singing. <laughs> it's they need love, emotionally needed, and they need time. So they need time to get ready because they take forever. Ooh wee. I love a girl that can move fast though, especially if she look good. But is that what they mean? I thought I took it as they need time, like, like quality time. Quality they need time. that. I'm just saying in oh, general. Okay, that's okay. a shame. When we go, when you go somewhere, that's when you realize yeah. how much time. You and, and ladies, don't be taking forever and don't have on nothing, have on anything in the hat. <laughs> Wait, time out. But if they got that white crop top on with them jeans, take mm. your time. Take your Damn time. Man. <laughs> take your time. If we gotta be somewhere by eight, and you know it takes you three hours. Let's start at five. Yeah. Start at four thirty. Cause you still gotta drive. <laughs> nah, this, this episode coming out later. I'm about to get. I gotta get some fuck. What makes it good? You shot spot. You shoot. You shoot. I said shot. that last month. You tripping? I don't even feel like that no more. By the time this comes out, we gonna be in Tulum or something. Rush ain't gonna hear. All right. So then, for a sexual response, that women like slow excitement. They like a responder yeah, usually, true. and they said that they are easily distracted. So, I, what does that mean? You be like, you getting, you know, you finna. And she'd be like, look that way. Okay, I was over there. She looked back. Like, Lord forbid the TV on. I, see, see, and I, <laughs> I just posted about this on my close friends. I was mad. If we doing all that, and then shit. And I see something funny on the TV, sometimes it's hard for me not to laugh. I just be like, yeah. you laugh. Or even, even if you're hidden from the back, when you look at the TV, us bro, we get distracted. We get distracted. Bro, I'm just saying. We get distracted. And that's, and that's crazy. So who, and they be, ah, and you be, oh, oh shit. Man. Uh, that's, that's, like, that's, like, that's how you got you gotta turn some boring oh. shit on. Do not do not have to, don't let don't be doing no freaky in your show on. Don't don't watch the fighting temptation. Make sure you play the right music. If you're gonna play music, please play the right music. Matter of fact, let her pick the playlist. You be watching fighting temptations when, <laughs> no, 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 when they singing at the church? No, no, no. I'm just saying don't watch that. Oh, okay. Okay, you might as well watch a TD J sermon then. No. Oh. Nah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? But low key, that yeah, joke is You saw me watch the fight temptations. That ain't true. Me too. Me too. For me too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm on the same don't, don't watch that. Listen, that if inside, you're going to be out here fornicating, y'all, please don't be watching the church with nobody at the church house <laughs> where nobody reading their Bible. Don't have it on BET. You can watch fight No, you can't. No, you, you can wake BET. You know you wake up at midnight with BET on. First of all, you're going to be watching Baby Boy. <laughs> You're not gonna be watching the BT gonna have the, the infomercial. So so continue. But you know at five, that's when they come on with the one. Oh yeah, pay them to pay pay them to uh give you some blessings. I stopped watching BT. I you stop watching BT. We got you. Give them some blessings. I don't, I don't what you do? You know what? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> but, continue because I'm not talking to you. Bro. So <laughs> now we moving on to a good sex life in a relationship. So. <laughs> Obviously, if you marry, I would hope that y'all, you know, because typically a lot of times people get married, they get in the points where it be like. Stop having sex. They do. And so. Well, we're not doing that. Hold on, Holiday. So, we ain't doing that. Fellas, <laughs> on the scale from one to ten, ten being the most important, one being not so important. How important is sex to you? Eight. Sex is important, bro. That's like, that's the like number? Row in a relationship. What's the number? I'm going to go. Nah, I'm gonna go like eight or nine. Man, bro. I'm yeah, a nine. But it's honestly my my reason for saying what's yours is we ain't saying what's yours. About eight. About eight. <laughs> you need your toes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all are being interviewed, we not interviewing. You. But hey, if you ain't curling her toes, she ain't curling yours. Boy, somebody to be curled. Somebody to be curled up. Eight. Hey. Yeah. So somebody to, better be a game bag in there. <laughs> so to your ankles or your kneecaps? Kneecaps to hey, your hey. elbows. I need all. <laughs> How you know that that boy be that boy good. But that, that's, it's important though because yeah. honestly, people women talk so much about intimacy. Oh, I want to be intimate. I want to be intimate. Well, I mean, just as much as you want intimacy through different avenues, we do too. But sex. And sex is one of them. Yeah, that if that thing thing and let it thing. If the thing thing and let it thing. That's the name of the episode right there. If the thing thing and let it thing. All right. So I got my info from the difference in sex drives between men and women. So it says a good sex life is an important part of every relationship. Obviously, we know it says. So why are there many conflicts between men and women about it? It says because do men have stronger sex drives or is it just a stereotype? It says according to some studies, it's true. Others say it's not about who has the strongest sex drive. It's about 
who res- it's just that men and women respond differently to sex. I agree to that. Ron said it earlier and at different times. That's true. It says one major re- reason behind the sexual disconnect is the gender. All right. It says that we're wired differently. Plain and simple. Several studies have shown that men's sex drives are a lot stronger. We knew that and straightforward than a woman's. You know, women's libidos don't follow a straight path and are tougher to pin down. Women base their desire for sex more on the conno- co- <laughs> connection and emotion, putting words together. And whereas <laughs> men see sex differently, for them, the connection comes from sex. I do believe that women, that's true, that they, you know, put their desire for sex off of how they feel and emotion. That's why a lot of girls, you rarely hear men say, if they go, if a dude is with an ugly girl, he tries to hide, right? He tries to hide, but a, a girl, a girl, if she would an ugly dude, it's kind of like it's normal almost. You know, you be saying that girls be having ugly yeah, dudes. Yeah, girls. Well, like, but when you say normal, normal, I mean, but it's a no homo because that is. Is it normal or is it yeah, like? Yeah, but, but it's like a. You you can see why. Because now and, and, you know the it's favorite thing for is, a reason. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. a favorite. This is no. a favorite. This is a favorite. Yeah. We date ugly boys because they, they treat us like shit. They, they treat us like shit. Because they treat us And they got money. You're going to hype, hype that ugly nigga up and he going to be the same way as that cute nigga. He going to smell himself. And then once, she, once she start putting that confidence in that ugly nigga head. He going to he gonna you Remember Love Don't Cost a Thing, a build a That was yeah. the first build a Facts. Look at the fuck. A, a build a nigga. And, 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 and when soon T, she was like that. She started to like him for real, and then he threw it, and then he was Those like, Those are my songs. <laughs> That's my lyrics. He said, Julia, I made you. That's how they kid. I made you. So, yeah, it did. It, it, I mean, and, you ain't, and they ain't learn from that. It's always a reason. Love No Cost of Three in 2003. Look what Kanye did to Amber. Look at her. But where is she at now? Blew her up. He did. She had a talk show at one point. Amber not ugly. No. I'm, I'm just saying, though. Oh. She just was a mute. Oh, okay. She was a mute. Like, she didn't talk like that. I know why. When she was with Wiz, it's not like that. She um, came out her shell. Yeah. Yeah, Wiz brought out her shell. Then she got with 21, but I ain't heard from her in a minute. Amber, I hope you all right. No, she, yeah, she, she was some dude who got tattooed with his eye. Oh, she yeah, got, I remember that. Yeah, Amber. We're going to talk about that off camera because I have a question to ask about that. But, um, yeah, Amber, I hope you're doing good. Come on, PSA. I like Amber Rose. I always like Amber yeah. Rose. No. So let's talk about everyone's favorite OnlyFans. Now, we talked about this the with the dumbest first part. shit in the world. We talked about this with no. Gia, and we talked about this with Ash. As we said then, we saying now. Sometimes, if you want to see um, Buffy the Body, Buffy the Body, I keep bringing you out of obscurity. Buffy the Body, I need to. We need to be friends because I didn't brought you up. This is my third time bringing you up. His toes curl. That's not what I mean oh. on PSA. <laughs> this is my third time bringing you up. Seriously, if somebody wants to see a Buffy the Body or a Delicious no or a. Um, who else is out here now? If somebody wants to see a Kim K, that's who they want to see. Oh. My Wait, Kim K got an OnlyFans? No, I'm saying, saying but if they have a like they have it like a lust for that person. If Kim Kardashian got OnlyFans. Ruby Rose. Who's somebody that is? Ruby Rose. Okay, Ruby if Rose. If Kim Kardashian got OnlyFans, you might you might consider paying that fee. I'm not I'm paying, paying that, that shit. shit. I can go see one with the same ass for free on Pornhub.com. I'm telling you right now. Video. Okay, well, this is not the. Uh, <laughs> we're not pumping porn here. <laughs> porn is a menace to society. It's, it's oh. free. It's a free menace. That's how to get you. That's how the devil gets you. It's free. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, if you want some, if you have a certain fetish, like I need old girl in her name, we'll make, we'll call her uh, Chastity. If you want Chastity Jenkins, you oh, want Chastity oh, Jenkins. What's oh, that? Chastity Jenkins. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that you, name don't even sound like it. <laughs> say, say, change the name. Okay, uh, the next name was Scarlet. Like the it's a terrible name. Scarlet. I'll take a Scarlet for our We're going to say her name. Just Scarlet. Don't have a last name. Kitty, Kitty. Just Kitty. You want to see Kitty? No, just saying oh. Kitty. You want to see Kitty. And you want Kitty. Yes, yeah, the girl kind of like Kitty, but you want to see Kitty. You. It is a, but I'm saying, but you're going to say, if somebody has a certain, like, you see the people in them girls' DMs and stuff, they be like, oh, I, hey, I, they keep on DMing them, keep on DMing them. Somebody who's watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They keep on DMing them, keep on DMing them, unsend, send it again, unsend, send that's it again, the, unfollow, unfollow, unfollow. 
Say what you got to say. And leave it at that. If they don't respond, they don't respond. Facts. But OnlyFans, I, I mean... Agree with that. Huh? I don't agree with that. You believe in follow on follow, send and unsend? I believe in send and unsend. It's there for a reason. But don't keep doing it. Well, if you're not gonna respond every time I send something, what? what but, okay, yeah, but why would you want to send it? You said what you had to say. You well, because well, you didn't respond. So clearly, either you didn't see it or you just that much if, of an if asshole. You sent it and she seen it, and you try to do it. Oh, it's screenshot, bro. But you would do it more than once. I, I would never. Yeah, that's what's Okay, well, see, he's openly admitting that. Obviously, I don't have to worry about that now, because you know. But I'm not doing that right now. Yeah, to make yeah, that clear. That's what I'm saying. He's married, <laughs> but he's saying back in the day. Well, see, back in your day, they didn't have sending us in. They didn't have sending us in. So that's true. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, I'm not. I when you start doing a little story and get a little fire mode, you can do that. But you talking about like really sending like nah, nah, nah. You, you gotta let that. What go if you send like, like your heart out and she don't respond? Oh, bro, you might as well just unfollow, block her, everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker too. Done. But seriously, OnlyFans, right, only I think, is, you know, a scam. Um, Big scam. You know, people be on there thrashing and showing their elbows and being like, look at my, you know, vagina. Pay $20 for this. It's but an elbow. It's, it, it's a scam, bro. You know what I'm saying? But when you think about it, you know how the pandemic started? We ran out of our money another way. Yeah. That's how they ran their money. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. everybody was bored, you had to figure out something to do at home. So don't, the people who are... Make a OnlyFans, we not hating on y'all. Get no, your money. Somebody gonna pay for it. Do what you gotta do. It's the niggas that's actually paying for it. Goofies. Yeah, y'all goofy the motherfucker. Especially <laughs> people who on here got these OnlyFans and you act like you doing something but you on there cooking. Oh god. <laughs> I can buy a cookbook. If I was one of them people twenty five dollars a month to watch and I paid twenty five dollars to see you cooking. I really I wanna know the I'm person, gonna I'm gonna do everything in my past. The people who made up OnlyFans, I wonder if they made OnlyFans for the sex reason or did they just make like a OnlyFans page for people who wanna see Certain people everyday life or some shit, and then we turned it into. So they did say that they're about to take the sexual Every content brand. off. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. that's good. Originally, it originally, it's like a so it's a it's subscription based. Yeah, so, so it's you can subscribe to anything. You, you can subscribe mean? to anything. But it, like now, a lot of people are using them for like explicit so content, yeah, like, website, you know, YouTube's yeah. and all that, mm -hmm. and like or trading. Yeah, you know, for now. That's that's what they're using it for now. That's what they're trying to rebrand it. Let me fix your credit. But it but it. I know somebody that do that. So. Uh, but <laughs> in, in, a, in a point of time when it first started, though, yeah. that's all it was. It was just based off subscriptions. So it's just like any, uh, if you pay for any memberships on YouTube, whatever the case may be, because you're considered a fan yeah. of whoever that particular person is. But I don't remember. When did it become sexual? It that's went, I want to say, this was probably maybe a couple months out, of, out there it started. You know, Snapchat was doing that stuff a lot, too. Mm -hmm. They were making fake pages and all the other stuff. Or you could join this snap group and stuff like that. Yeah. But then, I don't remember who it was. Shout out to whoever did it because you started <laughs> a train. You, 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 you are a legend. I'm not going to lie. In Whatever. the social media game, you are a legend. But they changed. They started doing shit. So showing freak stuff on there. Freak shit on there. And after that, people just took a hold to it. Because it was explicit. Something um, quick. Exclusive. Exclusive. Now... This is my question because we always got to go back to like the mental health side of it. So, do you feel like sometimes people do the OnlyFans because they need the reassurance? Because sometimes people really do have low yeah. self-esteem and they want people to like, you know, I look good. Let me know. Please keep telling me. Keep telling me I look good. Do I look good? Do I look good? Yeah. yeah it's probably yeah. all mixed in part of that. Yes. It helps they, they think it helps their self-esteem and you get paid. So, yeah, yeah. It, that's probably all twisted into that. Yeah, facts. You got, you got, you got to use it as that though. Now, so this goes back to into... Both stories. Yeah. Huh? So it's all gonna be too sad to both stories. Yeah, facts. They, but they, they, because of, sometimes you, you know how you got that glow up. Back then, you used to make get bullied. They tell you ugly, fat, dusty, whatever you yeah. do. But then you, you know, what I'm saying you started becoming who you are. You start looking good. It's just that that childhood trauma, or whatever, it, it fucks you up, it messed you up. You do, and now you're trying to get back in everybody like, look at me now. Now you gotta pay to see me. That's that's a gem right Damn. there. You gotta pay to see me because of childhood trauma. Pay to see. Now, this is based off a quote I used in the last time I did this sex one. So it says, sex is a constant reinsurance for a lot of people. Some people have sex addiction. So it says from Healthline.com, it says there are a few signs that you may have a sex addiction. And this can be for, you know, for the people who you may be, 
you you just are addicted to sex. Because some people are addicted to sex. Sometimes it's women too. I never forget on what was that girlfriends. Oh he, yeah, the dude. Yeah, yeah. And he had the three hundred bodies. Yeah, he was like, that's the reason I ain't having sex with you because I had a sex. Yeah. Yeah, and but see, and that goes by what we said earlier. What people think is weird for a dude to not maybe he had a traumatic experience like that, where he had. Yeah, he had, he said he had three hundred. Obviously, it was a show, but I mean, there's people that's real life. Yeah, like Tracy Ellis wrote. Yeah, she I, mean, I remember the dude. But there's somebody like that and had three hundred bodies. Somebody, 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 somebody yeah. does. Facts. It's a lot of people in the world that do that. Now you really think about that, like, damn, that's a lot of people, bro. It's a freaky. Real. That shit should And you off. and you ain't got nothing. And you ain't been on any video. Oh, that has some. Oh, but yeah. not not the big stuff. Not the, not the one that can not, take you out. Not the one that take you out. But <laughs> so I said this in the first. <laughs> The clap. <laughs> I, had, clap. I had to clap. What she said? What she said? I had to clap. Snap. I had all that. I ain't scared of that. All Listen, all right. ladies and fellas, too. Don't be bragging about what you had. That's not okay. That is not okay. okay. You are foul. You out here peeing green and you seeing need, green. You need Jesus. All right, so here's some signs, and this from the first part of the Let's Talk About Sex, and I'm reiterating. It says signs you have a sex addiction, chronic obsessive sexual thoughts and fantasies. It says compulsive relations with multiple partners, including strangers, lying and cover behaviors, preoccupation with having sex even when it interferes with daily life, inability to stop or control the behaviors, and it says when it interferes with your work performance and productivity. Now, so we all got sex addiction, but it's because of society. That's all it pushes to talk about sex and everything. All these TV shows is a sex scene. Mm -hmm. All these, you know, you get on Instagram and talk about sex. You get on Twitter. Who's splitting the bills? I'm so sick of that. Whatever Bro, works for your house is. works for your house. That's if y'all want to split it, cool. If you, if he want to pay all the bills, cool. If she want to pay all the bills. <laughs> this, is a this is a partnership. Do I look like a man? You know what I'm saying? But I, I know I've been seeing that. That shit is so annoying. Depends on the people. Cause you got you got dudes. Now, out now there. If, if I really really got it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I told my girl, I, my granny ain't gonna have to work. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, go ahead. Well, and if, she, if that's what she, if that's what she want to do, it won't be an issue. But some women but like you to got, work. You got some dudes out there who no, I don't want you working. I want you at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got women that's like, I don't want to work. I want to be at home. Okay, so she ready to be at home. If that's the case, I have a quick question. We may conjunct, come to a general consensus. How else? Oh, Tia. <laughs> Back to the side. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you if you pay if you pay all the bills and stuff like that, do you feel like that other person is controlling or is in control? No. But see, some the people make pay the bills. Like let's say let's say, let's say your girl take care of you. Like she did, she tell you you ain't got to work. Stay at home and be a daddy. Like Tabitha, no Tabitha Brown. You know the lady that's always smiling and grinning. But he's he's he, working. He's just not. No no no. She, to, she no. He's doing his own. He has like his. Uh, AAU group programming, and that's basically a job. Mm -hmm. He don't. He's not a cop no more. Yeah, she took so him out of that. He don't want. He's not doing a job that he don't want to do no more. He's actually doing a job that he loves. Right, right. and it may not pay as much, but it don't matter because she's yeah. making millions of dollars. So she, in a sense, taking care of him. But there's nothing wrong with that because he started it off. And even if she paying most of the bills, you know, some men have an ego thing like me. Like I know some dudes who were swerving down like they like I can't let a girl pay for me. Shit. I was like that at one point. Shit. Uh -huh. I know I'm not lousy. Go ahead. Only like reason, my but I, 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 I had a reason for feeling like that because it was just one point in time like people thought when you paid for something like it was like all right now now I can do what I want this and I can control it. I'm like I don't I don't need shit from you. But that's I don't a want, I don't want you paying nothing from because because it's says. the other way around when you pay if you pay for something and she pay for it y'all both be like all right cool. And just go about, but when you pay for it, sometimes because niggas do this, they feel obligated. For example, some of these promoters, you see, you 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 buy, you get in the section, you buying a bottle, you do know what you gotta do. She obligated to come back home and throw it. Nah, she not, bro. Like just because you pay for it, you you pay for it. If you're smart, you're beloved. You're if you if you smart, beloved, if you gonna go to the section and drink off the promoter, leave early. Go in there that way, he, and they disappear when he can't find you. If, you if wanna, it's a stranger, though, I mean, some, some. If it's just somebody random, like yeah, bro. But yeah. a lot of them promoters is tricks. Oh yeah, absolutely. But well, we in Houston. A lot of these niggas is tricks. I'm gonna give it a buck fifty. Yeah. Trick, 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 trick. These niggas be tricking off. Well, y'all niggas some magicians in there. We well, all like y'all out here throwing magic tricks, boy. Y'all out here motherfucking. But it's but it's, it's cool. Like he's he not, he not lying. He not but that but that works for them though, honestly. 
How? Like, and it be so crazy, bro. Another episode. Yeah, another episode. That's another episode. All right, if you got it. <laughs> Tricks are for Turn kids, hands. and here's Turn why. Hands. Turn hands to the side. You hear me? Tricks are for kids, and here's why. <laughs> okay, so according to psychology today, it says men and women's minds um, differ when it comes to sex. It says, are they really that different when it comes to sex? It says men, no matter what they like, respond to an attractive body. Women desire to be more um, context de uh, dependent. I like that. It says when assessed in the, uh, the laboratory, oh, I like that too, Dexter, there are well established statistical difference in the erotic response of populations of men and women. Yeah. Okay, so. Women like to feel taken care of. And it's, it's, secure. That's a, secure. That's a broad spectrum. Secure. It can be words of affirmation, it can be you buying them a Birkin bag. If they feel secure, no they're going to drop it. Mm -hmm. Us, if that ass is fat. Or if the titties be whatever you whatever you like, I'm ready. That's our problem. That that's our that's problem. what men have. That's but that's problem. what I, that's, that's mental that's, health of men. Though. But no, but that's what I was telling <laughs> y'all earlier fault. because we have that's something fault. to look at. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you said yeah, most some men women might look at their butt, but most women like if a nigga like us, we not you know right, yeah. chisel. Shit, who not? We not chisel, okay? <laughs> so it's like you ain't got like the, the physical the attribute well, that I could be like, damn. It's wrong. <laughs> so it's okay, but if but if you know how to talk to a girl, make her feel nice. Yeah. Okay, so how, you can so, so, so how about this? That might work. Since we since it's so it's about mental health. Right. When your wife asks you how was your dad, don't that make you smile though? Don't you feel like she she trying to be in tune with what you actually feel like and not just yeah, well, I get what you're going. So it's not how was your day, but it, I, right, it's not, we, not always that. Like if she asked me, hell, if we talk about basketball. She asked me something or something. Yeah, yeah, like that. That don't make me smile. Now, how do you feel about Chris Paul not winning MVP? You can be like, oh, girl, what you what you know about that? You gonna that that's a it's but yeah that that attraction is more on a mental level. But a lot of men are saying they just don't put it out in the world. And that, I'm not saying that that ain't part of it, but right. like. Yeah, like the physical is the first thing that we gonna see. What you look like is yeah. what you look like. That's just and, and that's the it, like. Come on, like you can you can be nice and you can ask me how your day is doing. What you ugly as hell? Black shit. It was it was cool. I mean, it was straight. I remember this girl <laughs> in, um, <laughs> in St. Louis. Um, I think it was a fake page. We was in high school, and her name was Jasmine Still Your Man Jackson. Oh. And the pictures were so. It's Facebook. I think it was a fake page, but the pictures were so ugly. And like I remember, I would just go to the page whenever I was having a bad day. Like the bottom of a foot. She looked like no, nah, some feet, bottom of feet, be don't be looking bad. Now nah, we talking about like the bottom of like you walk across like corn foot, like you yeah, you like corn foot. <laughs> yeah, if you see that thing, boy, <laughs> boy, boy, I'm I, don't even, wanna, I don't even want to see it. That motherfucker look like. No, my, I don't go ahead. Like hell, got he look, like, look like the ugly girl he talking about. But anyway, so Steve, I would go to her page and laugh, and like she would have, and she was a troll. It was before trolling was cool. I, I to this day I believe the page was fake, but the girl would be under people pictures being like, "All oh, y'all hurt," or like she'll be like commenting like, you know, "Oh, I need a man," and she'll like comment under people pictures be like, "Boy, you hella ugly," and I'd be like, "Bro, <laughs> you said I don't get mad with me." I said, "No, no, no, I'm ugly." <laughs> you said, <laughs> "What are you?" That's what I'm saying. I said, "Well, I guess That's we, I said, "I guess we both ugly." She said, I'm gorgeous. She said, I'm gorgeous, baby. B-E-E. That's Facebook spelling right there. I remember I was so weak, but when we talk about attraction, we have to go into love. And sometimes love overpowers attraction. Do you agree with that? I say yes sometimes. Because I've heard dudes say, again, it's more common with women, but I have heard dudes say, like, bro, she ain't the cutest, but the vibe is right. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we didn't got... I didn't hear my boy say it a couple yeah, times. And yeah. I was like, you know what? Yeah. If you bold enough to put it out there, I'm bold enough to accept it. Yeah. 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 But I don't think... But, I mean, that, that just goes to, like... I don't think... I, okay. You have to have some type of substance. That's yeah. the thing. Like, some... That girl may look like an elbow. But she got <laughs> substance. She, that girl may look like her. she may look like a supermodel, but she ain't got no substance. Yeah, she an airhead. Yeah, that's yeah. is for sure. And you pop that balloon. Mm -hmm. And nothing worse than an ugly airhead. I was at Tulum. I saw some people. Boy, I saw people like it's here for? it's it's weird sometimes seeing people with the surgery close up. Because I've seen some people in Tulum, and I was like, you know, okay. 
And I was just like, you could tell they got surgery, but I mean, and she, you know, she may did look kind of like, um, a foot, a character, but she was with her dude and he loved it. He probably paid for it. So sometimes that's why I'm saying love overpowers a lot of stuff. Now it says there are 11, 11 differences between how men and women love. It says, first of all, love has always been extremely tricky to define and measure because of the subjective nature of each experience. Mm -hmm. It says that licensed psychologist Danielle Forshe, it says there is, however, some biology involved when it comes to falling for someone. You know, when you fall for their type, as Drake said. It says, sexologist Jess O'Reilly, she said that when you start a relationship with someone, she said your brain floods with happy chemicals like dopamine, which is true and like a drug. Mm -hmm. And I said it before, love is like a drug and so is sex, which was the first part of this uh, that we did uh, weeks ago. And it says that which makes you feel excited and giddy about your new partner. As the new relationship progresses, your brain experiences a surge of different feel-good substances like oxytocin, which helps grow a test to your boo in the longer term. That she explains. Have you, you know, when you first start talking to somebody, like you just be like thinking about them, you just get excited. You know, you just staring at their page, just looking at them, going to stories, yeah. see, getting seeing what they thinking about, seeing what they doing. Sometimes you check people because at work about it. You know, you ask that they, um, if they have that your booze, your potential booze, you know, card, and you ask them questions like, "Oh, is this something you do all the time?" And you sitting here looking like. I don't want the girl. I, this is my friend. <laughs> if you know anybody like that, but no, <laughs> you wasn't that person. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably. This one from every to the tech gate. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Funny as hell. So, that love is dangerous. The feeling of love is dangerous. Yeah, yeah. And y'all ever thought about like? The f I'm not talking about love the action, but love the feeling how fucked up that shit can be. Yeah. How you can be so giddy about somebody one week and, and then the next week irritate like... your fucking soul to if you want to punch them in your throat. Like, yeah. Oh <laughs> boy. That's not a shot. That's not a shot. But like have you like <laughs> you ever thought about how crazy that nah, is, bro? Like love how it. you can just be so irritated with somebody and then love the next day. That's why love is love love is like a drug. You see how you when you That's get high, you be like, Oh, I feel good. Sometimes good, then someday you be like, You got that down. anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Then someday you just like oh, I need I need I need to go see a doctor, I need to go Cause this something. ain't this ain't, this ain't it. Yeah. It make it make you feel bad. Like it's a it's like a, bad, like you just mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, like your throat hurt. Then sometimes, then no. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes, <laughs> then sometimes if you don't have it, then you you feel worse. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's for that's long. That's for, for people who feel lonely and stuff like that. When they don't have like love or something like that, bro, they they literally be depressed. And that's that's tough. That's how I was my first move here, bro. Twenty nineteen, you know what I mean? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, nigga, I used to send the crib play the game one day. Oh, yeah, I just nigga, I can, I can that see that. Nigga, that was me. All MJ was like, MJ be like, bro, my, wanna go out yes. nah, man, I'm gonna send the crib for the game. My heart breaks. I, I you said don't have like one family member down here. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, it was weird. Everybody okay. knew it was back up there. Was see, back in Chicago. So I can't even. Like, when my first heartbreak, shit, I sat there in front of the speaking list. I ain't gonna. Lie, I drank a whole bottle of Palmer song. Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't want to. I, and I listened to Take Care. Old boy, no old boy, no old boy. No, and money and all them, they came in that corner too. I know, like, I know oh, the feeling. Like, oh, what's wrong when, I, I was when I got my heart broken with my senior year high school girlfriend, I think that's when Nothing Was the Same came out, oh. like 2013. It was 2012. You were going to ask in 2012, right? What? Yeah, but Nothing yeah. Came, Nothing Was the Same came out later. That was 2013. That was 2013. That was, yeah. Well, all I know is uh, I, I cried. It was 2013. But when Pound, no, not Pound Cake, uh, oh. shit, uh, come uh, through. Come through. Yeah, oh. come on, God. man. You got, I'm coming through. Oh, uh, I can't believe it, man. I can't, I swear to God. But that's, that's how it is, though. And your heart feel like it's just out. Out your chest. It's just like, you just laying there, it's like, it's in your knees. And it's worse when it's just nothing you can do. Like, it's literally no way you can fix it. Mm -hmm. And my problem was, I was in a whole nother state. Oh, That's what made it worse. <laughs> so, yeah. now if I see that foot woman now, <sighs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was looking at my roster. <laughs> foot woman. That's that's an after uh, hour conversation. Cause wait, was, wait, wait, wait. Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. She was part of your roster. Hold on, holiday. It's the emojis I use. Hold on, holiday. Oh. Okay, now wait before we move on. Oh, oh. It said I saw some on Twitter, and it says that. 
I don't know how people fall in love off condom sex. It's people that fall in love off kissing and jizzing on themselves. <laughs> White people. Not just them. You. But before we answer this, tune in to next part, part two. All right, you got to come back. PSA signing out. Always remember, keep your head up like your neck curve. Remember who you are. And make your mind up. Don't let it make you. Well, she part on two. Your roster.